The lightweight multirole missile LMM, previously known as FASGWL, is a lightweight air-to-surface and surface-to-surface -surface missile under development by Thales Air Defence for the United Kingdom. The Ministry of Defence (MOD) has placed an initial order for 1000 missiles and deliveries were due to start in 2013. The missile is known as Martlet in British service. Topic: History LMM was initially conceived as Thales' response to the MOD's future air-to-surface guided weapon light FASGWL requirement. LMM has been designed to be launched from a variety of naval, air and land platforms against a wide range of targets. High precision reduces collateral damage and makes the missile suitable for asymmetric littoral operations. Development began in 2008 and the LMM uses technology from an earlier Thales missile, the Starstreak. Qualification testing and initial production commenced in late 2011, following an initial contract by the UK Ministry of Defence in April 2011. Thales has conducted successful guidance control firings, including a semi-active laser cell version. The MOD contract includes the design, development and qualification of a laser beam rider version of LMM, together with production of an initial quantity of 1,000 missiles. These will be operated from the new Wildcat and Thales graphics have shown helicopters carrying twin seven-round launchers. These are due to enter service in 2015. The contract was funded by a deal to re-roll previously contracted budgets to facilitate the full-scale development, series production and introduction of the LMM. In other words, other contracts were cut and the funds switched to paying for LMM. The most likely contract affected is for the Starstreak, which is approaching the end of its term. Thales have test fired an LMM from a Shebel Camcopter S100, demonstrating a potential for use from unmanned aerial vehicles (UAVs). Topic: Description. LMM is intended to provide a single family of weapons that can be used in different modes, including Maritime – LMM will be carried on the new Lynx Wildcat helicopters of the Royal Navy for use against small surface vessels. ASELSAN of Turkey has developed dedicated mounting systems which can also enable the LMM to be launched from naval platforms such as fast attack craft FAC. Surface to surface, the dual effect blast fragmentation and shaped charge of the LMM's warhead makes it suitable for use against a wide range of ground targets including light medium armor. Air launched, the missile's modular design allows for future development and introduction of alternative warheads and seekers. The LMMs in the initial batch use laser beam riding with infrared terminal homing and a laser proximity sensor, although a semi active laser version is under development for precision surface attack roles. Topic. FFLMM – Fury In July 2014, Thales unveiled a modification of the LMM that turns it into a glide bomb, called the Freefall LMM – FFLMM. 
Thales partnered with Textron to market it as the Fury for the U.S. market, who provides a height of burst sensor and electronic safe and arm device. The weapon had been in development for 18 months and undergone initial test drops in August 2013. In comparison to the LMM, the FFLMM removes the rocket motor and associated components while keeping the body and control actuators, as well as adding INS and GPS navigation, semi-active laser guidance in place of the beam riding system, and four enlarged fins for increased lift. The bomb is not intended to replace larger munitions, but be used as a smaller and cheaper alternative to self-propelled missiles, with three bombs able to fit on a single Hellfire missile rail. It is 70 cm long, weighs 5.8 kg and uses a 2 kg dual-effect shaped charge and pre-fragmented blast warhead for use against armored vehicles, small boats, and personnel, with an operational range of 4 km miles when launched at 10,000 feet 3,000 meters. A potential role for the Fury could be to arm medium intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance ISR UAVs like the RQ-7 Shadow to deal with fleeting or time-sensitive targets. Thales is offering the weapon to meet the UK. Defense Ministry's Future Air to Surface Guided Weapon Light FASGWL requirement. Topic: <inaudible> Operators. United Kingdom 1000 missiles on order, expected to enter service in 2015. Topic. See also Sea Venom missile FASGWH CRV-7PG Precision guided derivatives of Hydra-70 rocket Rocketson Sirit List of missiles <laughs>